again with unexplained low muscle tone. And because of it, like his airway was floppy. So he turned and he turned blue. Any movement, because it would shut the, the airway off because it wasn't strong. And plus because of all, because he couldn't swallow, handle his secretions, he would aspirate. So they had to trach him. With him being nonverbal, um, to get to understand Matthew, they used to think that Matthew was having like behavioral issues. The school didn't know what to do with him, so that was like the biggest challenge. I got him into an evaluation for an augmentative device, and you know it started with the big Dynavox, and now we're down to the the iPad with the you know the nice apps on it for him to talk. When he left the middle school, he was at an upper, upper second grade, almost third grade reading comprehension. We pulled in um, a neuropsychologist that did his, you know, three-year eval, and she recommended the um, visualizing, verbalizing, from from the mind to the paper, like that thought process, getting it. Like she knew it was up there. We just had to open it, open it up, and she felt that um, Linda Mudbell visualizing, verbalizing, would do it. And she was right, because now he can do that. He's just done very well. I, I've never seen him throughout his years do so well as he has his past, what, seven, six months. And if something's frozen, do you picture that it's it's a liquid or it's hard? Solid. Ooh, very good. Your word was better than my word. I do picture that it's solid. So if we're picturing that this is our cup and our straw is in here and this is now solid, when we pull it out, I picture that that solid piece of frozen drink is gonna come out with it. And then what does that look like if it's a frozen thing on top with a little stick? Popsicle. Nailed it. High five, man. Good job. He's beaten everything the doctor said he wouldn't do. He's done, so. And we actually saw his ENT yesterday, and he was so excited to hear Matthew verbalize. Like he could understand everything Matthew said. Even his brother Philip has noticed too, his sentence structure is a lot nicer. I've gotten a lot of compliments on how he's just, he's grown into a, a young man. And something about your staff, because I know he really enjoys working with the, instruct, the instructors that come out. He's got a few of his favorites. I, I'm just very thankful for the program again, you know, for, for the staff working so good with Matthew. And because I, I, I know that staff really like Matthew and they care about him. And I appreciate that because they're doing a great job. There it is. I love how you use his name and you told me about Popsicle and he's outside. Your words make me picture that he's going like this. He's drinking the Popsicle. Is that what you saw?